Tonight, we have a rare first-hand account of the power of the life-saving drug naloxone. A senior at Leesville Road High School was heading to downtown Raleigh to run some errands when she saw something on the side of the road. As WRL's Ashley Rowe tells us, the student ended up saving a man from a dire situation. Victoria Tayton was driving near Crabtree Valley Mall, running errands in the busy afternoon rush hour when she saw two young men in the distance. One was lying on the ground. She trusted her gut and went over to them. I asked them uh, what's going on, kept my distance just to make sure. And he's telling me that his friend is just on the ground not responding and he's not sure what's happening, but he thinks it might be an overdose because, you know, um, from the signs that he was seeing. Tayton raced back to get the Narcan in her car and administered it in the stranger. It worked. And he throws up. He's coming in and out of consciousness and he... The EMS are telling us um, that's okay. Officials are still combating the stigmas around naloxone, known by its brand name Narcan. But more and more people are carrying naloxone kits to keep them and their peers safe. Dayton says she's been carrying it with her for two years. I just felt, even though it's not common here, I just think it's a really good thing to carry on because we just don't know anymore, especially with kids our age and going off to college soon. You just don't know. So I just thought it was safe just to carry it on from then on. Her instincts proved right. Tayton hopes her experience will motivate others to consider carrying Narcan. We most likely be okay because, you know, we did the right thing. But if we weren't there, he probably would have, you know, probably died because, you know, it's we, we weren't sure what he took. But, you know, because we acted quickly.